All right, the wall drill is one of the most basic drills for helping athletes learn some proper uh, acceleration mechanics, especially for learning getting a good lean and getting their knees up. Um, once you've taught them the basics of acceleration mechanics, they should have that kind of in their mind when they are doing the wall drill. If you haven't taught them some of the basics of, the, of acceleration mechanics, doing the wall drill, kind of, they, they don't understand exactly what's going on, but once you've shown them that, you can bring them over to a wall and they start to think, oh, I get what you're trying to do. You then take them from the wall back out onto the field and have them accelerate. And now that you've shown them the mechanics, worked on the wall, they come back out and a lot of times they start to get it. So to teach the wall drill, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Adam demonstrate the wall drill. You're going to put your hands on a wall and your feet are going to be uh, back behind you so that your body is, is as close to a 45 degree angle as you can get it, but for most people it's not going to be completely a, or all the way to a 45 degree angle. That's a, that's a little bit ambitious. What you do want is a straight line from the shoulders down to the, to the ankles. Um, a lot of athletes will have their hips out, so go ahead and demonstrate that, and that's what they're going to look like. That's going to completely change your mechanics. Um, basically, you need that angle to start with the, with the legs, and it changes dramatically if the hips get pushed back. Um, having the butt back also will, will severely limit how high you can get your knees up, um, as well as the angle that you're driving down in the ground. So, for the wall drill, you got the hips forward, chest up, you're going to pull one foot up as high as you can, or one knee up. Now, this is perfect the way he's doing it. He's got a nice tight bend in his front knee. Um, I'll come over to this side and show you what I'm talking about. The, there's a nice tight bend in this knee. A lot of athletes will accelerate and their feet are going to be out in front of them. We want to explain to the athlete that their foot should be facing, or the, bo the bottom of their foot should basically be pointing backwards. So come on back up the way you were. Knee up really high. Toes are up, so you got that nice tight dorsiflexed ankle as well. This is the position that you should look like if you, if you did like a freeze frame in the middle of so, uh, an acceleration. So from here, all I'm going to have Adam do is switch his feet one time. So I'm just going to say switch. He's going to drive his right foot down and pull his left knee up in the same position on the opposite side. Ready, Adam? Switch. 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 Good. And each time he comes up here, you're going to see differences in the way kids are doing it. So this time I want you to do it, like mess it up. And, and, and have your ankles going all over. So this is more what you're gonna maybe see and there's how to correct it, ready? Switch. So you say, oh, keep your knee bent tight, bend that knee tight, good, ready? Switch. Good, and you won't maybe get it up as high. So you say, gotta get it up high, gotta get it up high, ready? Switch. And now you can see he's leaning forward. So you gotta say, oh, get your hips forward, get your hips forward and your chest up, good. You can take a break for a second. So doing this drill is gonna give you lots of opportunities to coach the mechanics again and you can always go back to the stuff that you've already taught them. The second uh, phase of this, or the next progression, is going to be to do multiple steps without holding it in between. So now I'm going to have you do four steps. So he's going to be in the same position and he's going to do one, two, three, four and hold that last one up. Ready? So he starts in that same position. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, perfect, good. And you can see, you can just see that Adam's pushing hard into the wall. What the kids want to be able to feel is a lot of pressure into the wall. As soon as they break at their hips and they bend, there's not going to be any more pressure at the wall and all the force is going to be like pitter-pattering down on the ground. So if he's doing that, you're going to help coach him into, into doing it the right way. What I like to tell groups of kids, if you've got a bunch of them lined up on the wall is, all right, everybody, we're going to try to push this wall over and they kind of get the feeling of, oh yeah, we're trying to push it. Or it's like pushing a car. If you're trying to push a car, you got to get low and you got to push backwards. The other thing that Adam did a great job of, of on here is his turnover wasn't super fast. If you try to do a super fast turnover on a wall drill, you miss out on that elongated impulse or the strong push off the ground. So show us real quick what, what maybe we would see if kids are doing really, really fast steps. Ready? Go. Yes. Perfect. So you're going to see that all the time where it's these teeny little baby steps but not much power in the ground. If we had a force plate uh, hooked up to the wall, um, when he does it right there's probably a lot of force going into the wall which means he's pushing backwards hard and when he does it with those baby little steps there's probably not nearly as much force which means that he's not pushing backwards and that equals slower speeds forward. So when you're done on the wall drill you can then 
turn around and you can move on to some falling starts or some regular starts that we'll show you on the field.